This is the Samsung QTU microphone. I use this for a couple of different things. One, I use it for recording the post-college podcast, which is actually why I have two of them. I have one for myself, one for my co-host, Michael, and we actually own a third one that our guests use to record episodes sometimes. So if you listen to the post-college podcast, you can create a get a great example of what this sounds like as a podcast microphone super easy to use doesn't require a computer driver so we can ship it or deliver it drop it off to some of our guests record remotely and we get awesome sound quality super easy to set up so the microphone itself is a dynamic microphone this is very important to keep in mind because most mics you're looking at if you're in the world of audio technica at 2020s are condenser microphones which are way, way better for getting bass in your vocals and things like that when you're in a recording studio. However, dynamic microphones work really well in picking up only what's right in front of them and only kind of the main uh, sounds in the setting. And what I mean by that is right now, I actually have this fan on behind me. Hopefully you can see it oscillating. And I don't think you can hear the fan that much. So just so you get a sense of the difference, I'm gonna say, hey Google, hey Google, turn off the fan. I don't know how much of the Google Home you heard there, but she said, sure, turning off the fan. The fan is now off, and so you can hear me very, very clearly. This microphone sounds awesome for podcasting, for voiceover recording, and also for when you're talking directly into the camera. Now, I'll walk you through my setup, and then I'll show you more of the microphone. I'll show you the one that's in this bag here. So I decided to purchase a arm for my desk. So this is some sort of cheapo $20 or $25 arm I got off Amazon. I'll put the link below, as you can see. It blends, it bends, it flexes. I can adjust the angle up and down. There's a cat about to knock over my camera lens. Oh my God. Oh my God, please don't knock that over. Please don't knock that over. I don't want to yell at her. Oh my God. Guys, this is happening in real time. (gasps) Cleo, get off. Hold on, cut. All right, where were we? Sorry about that. Jeez, whew. Okay, so this microphone sounds great for podcasts, for recording voiceovers, and also if you're talking directly to the camera and you will get great audio quality. I'm recording literally just on a webcam right now. That's a Logitech uh, 920 webcam, I think. Typically, I'll use this setup here. This is the Canon SL3 with a Sigma 18 to 35 art lens, and the audio makes poorer video forgivable, right? This sounds so good that you're still interested in listening to me talk. It is awesome. Okay, now onto the microphone. Let me show you my favorite parts about it. One, you have a headphone port on the bottom of it. So you can see right there, there are three ports. This one right here is a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. That's where I have these Bose 700 headphones plugged in. I am hearing myself in real time, so I can tell that the microphone is still picking this up as I whisper. And if I talk louder and louder and louder and louder, I could actually hear in real time if I'm too close or too loud in the microphone so that I don't mess up my recordings. And it's a very nice feature. Now, if I want to turn up the voice in my own head up and down, I have volume control buttons right here, up and down. And if I want to take a break or if I'm on a Zoom call using this, I can actually mute myself by switching the microphone from the on position to the off position right here. Very easy, we also have a green status light. So if you take a look at my microphone, which is plugged in right now, there is a green LED light that is turned on right here. If I switch it off to mute, what I just said was now you can't hear me at all. There should be no static noise, which is great. The microphone also has an XLR port on the bottom. So if you wanna use this live, if you are emceeing an event post COVID, you can use the XLR port, plug it straight into a speaker or sound system, some sort of PA system. You have a micro USB, which is how you connect it to the computer, and you don't need to install any software. So even if you're not that good with computers, you can just uh, plug this into your computer. It'll auto detect it. You can set it as your microphone. It's very simple to use, and it comes with a nice stand in the uh, box as well. So you have a stand here, very easy to put together. And my co host and I actually sometimes drop off the Samson Q2 microphone because we own three of them now to our guests for the recording and it's very easy for them to set up. So I'm a big fan of the Q2U. Hopefully you've heard now for I think four or five minutes of your life how good this microphone sounds. It does not pick up background noise which is super important if you're recording not in a studio. So I highly recommend this over the Blue Yeti, the Blue Yeti X, the Audio Technica AT2020 those sort of condenser microphones, et cetera. If you are not filming in a professional sound studio or sound booth, get yourself a Q2U. Link is down below to my whole setup here, this arm, the headphones even, 
the microphone itself from a couple different sellers. Um, and just so you guys know, this is the newer arm. Hopefully you can see their logo right there. If you have any questions, leave them in a comment below. See you in the next one. Peace.